Okay guys, it's BW. I got the hood outside the car. I think I want to use this little suitcase blaster and I just want to go at these spots that have the real deep pitting. All right, I want to see how it works. Just got a couple small spots here. Overall, the rest of the hood's really good. I'm just going to attack at these pieces real quick and just see how it works. If it looks like it's working good, okay. If it doesn't, I'll stop and we'll try something else. All right, so let me get this thing going and I'll get back with you guys in a minute. All right, guys. Well, we hit this thing pretty good today with the walnut shell. And then I even uh, emptied out the walnut shell and put soda ash in, in the suitcase. And, you know, I just wanted to make sure we got all the stuff out and it sure looks like we did all right i've been through this a few times I'm, I'm really curious it's like it's almost like somebody spilled something on here like an, maybe an acid or something because look you you see there's like a a streak a pour it's almost like a pour line you know what i mean where somebody just poured soda or i don't know you know something it's just and then there's like one spot here one spot here a spot here a spot here and then another little splash here then there's this weird I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know if that's really anything, but I've scrubbed at it. I've, I've gone over this till a rag came up clean. You know, I got the paper towels and paint thinner and I just kept wiping it until the rag was clean, even soaking wet clean. Okay guys, well we arrived at the part of the job I've been waiting for. To get this hood into epoxy primer so that we don't have to worry about it rusting and then we can stick it back on the car and pull off another pan. But we're gonna follow the directions for the system to the letter. And we chose the OptiFlow roll-on paint system by Eastwood, all right? This seemed to me to be the best user-friendly for the do-it-yourself or at home, all right? We have the 55 in the garage. We can't really pull the Nova in here right now. Obviously, I'm on a uh, restricted for space and we don't want overspray getting on our big old nasty hot rod over here. So the OptiFlow system makes sense for us, all right? We are following the directions to the letter, okay, for this system. We've completely removed all the rust and stripped any paint that was on this off, all right? You guys saw how we got the rust off using vinegar, and I'll show you a little clip of that right now. Let's see how it did. All right. Look at this, guys. Look at it wiping right off. Look at, it, look, at, look at the rust wiping right off. Now, this really hard one right here. The rust is, is, is it's wiping off. All right, and after we did that, we went ahead and we neutralized it with soda, ash, and water and cleaned it real good. Then we got the contour by Eastwood and we went ahead and conditioned the metal with eight, an 80 grit drum sanding wheel and got it to this point here i'll show you that right now all right so then after we've stripped stripped it down we've cleaned it now they want us to final wipe it down with acetone and that's where we're at right now. We've got the acetone here. We're gonna grab a clean shop towel rag from the bin over here. And we're gonna wipe this down one final time. I've already wiped it, but I'm gonna wipe it down one final time just to make sure we've got everything off of the car. All right. down one final time I've cleaned the hood several times and you can see nothing's really coming off but we just want to make sure we're going to give the product every chance to work and do as advertised okay all 
All right. Like I'd like to show you guys. Nothing really, maybe a tiny bit right there, but nothing really coming off. We've cleaned this several times. Now I'll pull you down off and we'll show you the hood one final time where the pitting is. I added a tiny bit of bodywork right where you can see. This is, what I, I, like I said in the past video, I think that something was poured on this or something because you see the pour mark the whole way down. But we got her cleaned up, we got all the rust out of it and we have the metal condition, all right? Now, for the mixture, it's a one-to-one, -one, okay? One thing they don't tell you when they sell you the roller and stuff, I, have, I would suggest you guys getting the mixing containers with the ratio, the one-to-one -one ratio on it so that you get it just right, all right? So that's my next step is to open up the can, mix this real good, put the catalyst in and they say you have a 20 minute working time so we don't want to mix too much i'm thinking that we're probably going to do a uh we'll do five to five to five would be a full this is a pretty big panel so we'll do a we'll do a five one to one with but up to five all right guys i felt it was important excuse me i'm sorry about that i felt it was important to bring you guys in i just opened the can you can see there's heavies on the bottom so they want you to stir it real good so we're going to stir it for a while till we break up all the heavies make sure that you get all the materials that they want for this epoxy mixed in all right so that's all i'm going to be doing for the next few minutes is mixing this up and i'll bring you back in after i get all the heavies out of it okay all right y'all well, i've been mixing for about i guess 10 minutes and you can see i just wanted to bring in show you all the heavies are mixed in all right and can't they they urge you to mix it well and that's what we did we sat here and we just kept mixing and mixing and mixing all right so one thing i'm going to do here is uh, i don't like to pour and get all messy with the can so I, I cleaned this lid real good i do this all the time i cleaned it real good and i'm going to use it to scoop and put it into the mixing container and we got it over here where we're going to have a one-to-one -one, just like they asked for so I'm going to mix this until we get to the five, all right? So it might take me a minute to do this, but like I said, I'd rather do this than have a poor mess all over my benches and, oh, and all over the uh, all over the side of the can and everything else. I like to try to keep things as neat as I can because I'm going to store this. I got my dp90 in the house after i used it i don't like to keep it out in these extreme temperatures oh by the way they wanted at least 60 or 75 in the garage so that was another thing i forgot to let you know but it's colder than that outside but we will keep this heated until at least it flashes off on the third coat and then we're going to let it sit then we're going to let it sit there's five there's the first five on a one-to-one -one, okay so if you look in the first column i'm reading this correctly one to one all right so we're going to look at this one and now we want to pour the catalyst in and get it to here and mix that so just give me a second to wipe my hand off put this down right here all right see i put my little I put my little lid over there on top of the other lid and we didn't make any mess except what we got on our plastic gloves safety first right <laughs> all right there you go so we got that done now we're going to take this uh roll on this is the uh, catalyst that they want us to use i got to get it open so just give me a second Now this one should be easy to pour. It's a little splashy.
All right, there you are. I got a little bit of a little bit of a splash on that. I try not to make a mess, but sometimes even I make a mess. So let me grab a towel. All right. Now that uh, catalyst does have a little odor to it. Let me uh, take the stirring stick. And now we got to stir this up real well. All right. Okay, guys. Well, we got it mixed, and uh, we got it in the tank can, or in the excuse me, the tank tray. It seems kind of runny to me, but uh, maybe that's just what it is. I, I'm assuming I did it correctly on a one to one ratio i went to the five mark and the five mark and mixed it together <laughs> all right so and they say that to get the roller get it into the solution and get it good and wet and then they want you to roll it out onto some paper just to make sure you got it fixed and it's into the roller and it is all right we're following the directions to the letter i'll show you that if you want to see it real quick but all i did was roll it out onto the the paper right there okay just a little bit all right so now we know the rollers in there so now I'm just going to apply it to the hood all right see how it goes I've seen a lot of change been through a lot of pain some things are not the same as they were a year ago but all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright and for the first time in a long time, I'm alright I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain Some things are not the same, as they were a year ago But all will be okay, I move on each and every day The past is where it stays, way back a year ago a year ago got about we've got about a two we got about a two left over all right so now we know we're going to mix three to three which is one to one all right so we know that we're going to do that on the next one learn as you go pour that back into that pan there take it out set it under here i gotta have to get a have to get a waste jug 
put that in. All right. I'll get back to you guys. All right, guys. Well, I came out and I mixed the second batch and put a second coat on. I went three to three this time, and it looks like we got about a half left. So we got very little wasted material. I think for the final one, I'm going to go two to two. That way, we because it's not accepting as much material with the second coat, and I imagine the third coat will be the same way. I feel like I forgot to tell you guys, there's no induction period for this product it's one to one as soon as it's mixed it's ready to go it says so right in the directions it also says it takes about a half hour to flash off i'm experiencing about an hour it says it's 78 to 80 in the garage but truthfully right down here i bet it's closer to 68 and that's because i can't run my fan right now or the electric heat because it's just going to blow debris and chance it's settling on the hood all right and we don't want that so we're going to just accept the longer time for the flash off <laughs> it says depending on the temperature right in there this is a great solution for a do-it-yourself or at home like me it really is i can't risk getting overspray on my other hot rod the other cars outside i can bring it in one panel at a time stripped and get it in epoxy primer is it perfect no but it's great and for us it's great for guys like me i will tell you you got to walk around with the roller and chase runs a little bit but it's 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 no different than if you just painted a wall and remember this is just the first step in the bodywork process so if you get a little run or something it's no big deal you're going to be block sanding this thing out anyway down the road this is just to get the epoxy primer on the panels and get it protected for when we're ready for body work okay and uh, what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go in the house i'm going to get cleaned up because it's getting late but i do want to get the third coat on tonight so i'll come back out in about an hour and i'll put i'll mix up and get the third coat in bring you guys in and close this video out i'm all right guys well i got the third and final coat on i went in took a shower got my jammies on I wanted to come out and get the third coat on, so I threw some coveralls on. Got my Turlo garage shirt on. Andy's great, check him out. All right, I'm really happy with this up the flow roll on system by Eastwood. If you guys take a look, look at the results. I mean, it's really, really nice. I mean, if you don't have uh, spraying tools or the area or means to do it, or even the know-how, this is a good, viable solution. This panel was, in, was stripped down to bare metal. Now we got three coats of epoxy primer on it. Now they suggest four days before you can really do anything with it. I'm gonna give it five days. I'm gonna let it get good and hard because the temperatures are gonna vary. I'm gonna try to keep the garage around 60 degrees or so, but we wanna give it five full days to harden up. Then we're gonna bolt this on the car, okay? And once we get it bolted on the car, and got the hood closed, we're gonna pull the deck lid off, strip it down and do the same thing. And so forth with each quarter panel door. I'm hoping to get the shell around, you know, drive the car around, get it on the ramp. Cause I wanna get started on the uh, floorboard sooner rather than later. And that monstrosity of a quarter job. <laughs> There's a lot of mysteries awaiting us on that car, but we're gonna get it straightened out, all right? No big deal, we're gonna take care of it. Uh, the next couple videos are going to be on the 55. We got some really cool content coming up with that. All right. I won't tell you what it is right now, but we're going to do some cool stuff. All right. And I'd like you to participate. So if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, tell a buddy, share. All right. And until next time, take care, everybody.